my children just doing anything. Yes. All right. This is why it's important for us to take a look. If we don't start looking at his kingdom according to his way, we'll be the same as Sodom and Gomorrah in no time. Well, right. We'll just be full of wickedness. Mm -hmm. All kinds of immoral acts. Somebody once told me, said, there's nothing that we do now. I said, Sodom and Gomorrah, we don't do anything that they did in Sodom and Gomorrah. We do everything that they did in Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, then. There's not a sexual act that went on in Sodom and Gomorrah that's not going on right yeah. now. Because hmm. if there wasn't anyone, they could even get 10 in Sodom and Gomorrah hmm. that was right. As, look, if he was to take a look at Waco, Texas, I, I don't even want to ask how many he would find. It's important for us to take a look at the kingdom of God. Hmm. We have to be able to see that every day. See his kingdom. Not what we want, not our will. He says, if you seek out that kingdom, hey, all these other things will be added up to you. You're going to be taken care of. Seek his kingdom. Every day of your life, seek his kingdom. Listen, if you would, turn now. First Corinthians six. Verses nine through ten. Who had that? I've got it. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor infinite nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covet, covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Mm. The Lord says, look, you have to be able to see the kingdom so you can enter the kingdom. Once you enter the kingdom, you need to understand that the kingdom cannot be inherited by you if you fall into one of these categories. Now these categories all fall under one big name, fornication. Fornication. What in the world is that? What is that? It's the very thing that hinders us from seeing the kingdom of God. Fornication. We live in a sin sick world. We live in a world where sex is okay. Somebody told me everybody's doing it, but that doesn't make it right. Hello, church. Amen. It doesn't make it right. Somebody told me God invented sex, but he didn't, he didn't bring in sex the way we did it. All we right. turned something good into something wicked. Amen. 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 That's our nature. And he said to us, he says, anybody that is unrighteous or sexually immoral, you can't inherit the kingdom. So that tells me if you are sexually immoral, you can't see the kingdom and you dare not think that you're going to enter oh, his kingdom. Amen. Amen. Fornication is the one of the biggest things we got. Our young people start being fornicators at an early age. Amen. Amen. They may not know they're doing fornication, but they started at an early Amen. age. The world has been the basis of giving them all the information they need so they can be a fornicator. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's good to see children being children. Okay. Good to see little girls being little girls. Mm -hmm. Good to see little boys being little boys. But when they get the first wind of sexual immorality, that's when things begin to change and they become fornicators. Mm -hmm. You see, a lot of people don't realize you can be a fornicator without touching another person. Mm -hmm. You can have a sexually immoral act just by what? Thinking about it. Just by thinking about it. Bible speaks of that. What's the old man thinking? So is, he. so is he. You lust in your heart. You become a fornicator. Why? Because you're no longer 
a spiritual entity, you are now a carnal thinker. The Bible teaches us that this body is not ours, but it belongs to God. the Lord. Mm -hmm. And if it belongs to the Lord, we're not to be put it with any and every body. If you looked at a biblical definition for the word fornication, it would say a single person having sexual acts with another single person. And from that point on, it starts telling you all the other things that infinite. That's a hard word to say. Infinite. Tells you about infinite. That falls under fornication. Adultery falls under fornication. Because a single person gets with a person that's married and commit what? Adultery. Mm -hmm. It's time for us to start taking a stand against fornication. Mm -hmm. It's time for us to stand up or sit our children down and start telling them that all the stuff you see in the world, you know you can't stop them from seeing a sexual act. And covering their eyes with a colorful TV does not stop curiosity. Huh. Hello, somebody. Amen. You have to be sit them down and tell them, this says that you can't get what God has for you. If you are unrighteous, then all those things he said that will be added up to you will not be added up to you. In other words, if your lifestyle is not what you want to be, change the way you are. Change the way you are. If there are difficulties going on in your life, consistently change the way you are. Stop seeking life for what you want and start seeking the kingdom 